So I want to show you how a traditional cut rafter roof works. And these kind of roofs are common in the UK for most of the properties built before trust rafter roofs became common in the last few decades. So what we have here is we have outer walls in blue not necessarily going to be a cavity wall as shown here but sometimes it is and we have an internal wall we've got the ceiling here we've got the rafters there and what we can see here in this section is a purlin and a ceiling binder and at the top the ridge board so what's happening here well, the roof is forming a triangle. So when we have the weight of the tiles and wind and snow on the roof, on the rafters, we have a reaction at the top trying to push the rafters left and right, which is resisted at the wall plate by the ceiling joist, which goes into tension. So we have a triangulation of forces as we would in most roof structures. What's unique to this kind of structure is that the rafters are very slim so that what they do is they put a pearl in at mid span to break the span. So this rafter effectively is just supported here and here and it's half the span that it would be otherwise without this pearl in. Now the pearl in is supported on the wall so let's just get some Color in here. You can see here that the purlin is supported off a continuation of the wall which is load bearing below. We can see that what's happening here is in this, this type of property the purlin is supported on this wall built off a first floor load bearing wall which is built off a ground floor load bearing wall. And the same thing really happens here now with the ceiling joist because this is again a very slim member supported off a load bearing wall here and at the wall plate here and then the span is halved by using a member we call not a purlin this time although it's very similar that's called a ceiling binder and again it's supported on this load bearing wall. So that's basically how a traditional roof works and if the ceiling joists are supported on an eternal wall as they are here then those are nailed together very securely because remember that these ceiling joists are in tension resisting the roof spread here at the wall plate and another feature of this particular kind of roof is that at the wall plate the rafter is nailed both to the wall plate and to the ceiling joist and the ceiling joist is also na nailed to the wall plate so we get a very secure connection here because this is resisting the rafter pushing outwards uh, at the wall plate here so if we just remove the ceiling joist we can see that the rafter is usually bird mouth cut over the wall plate giving it a very secure connection and then it's nailed in or some kind of angle bracket is is used to nail it securely in place the ridge board is not the same as a ridge beam so it's not a load bearing member what that does is it transfers the equal and opposite reaction from the top of your rafter to the adjacent rafter and basically it's there to keep everything in line to transfer that load from one to the other and to allow you to have a timber to, to nail to. So the purlins and the ceiling binders are bedded into the gable walls here and here and sometimes what we also have is a prop so we can see this particular one is quite long we might have a prop here going down from this purlin to the wall below so that prop might be sitting on that load bearing wall and then usually within the ceiling in order for this not to again to move out to push out we would probably have another timber strut lying in here to resist the 
lateral load. Now, what some of you will be used to seeing is having these purlins on a not on an angle. So the reason that this is on an angle is because the rafter is triangulated. So the only force that the purlin needs to resist here is the deflection perpendicular to the rafter. And that's why we angle it like this. If you had it upright, then it would be more likely to bow. Now, if you didn't have the ceiling tie, so here we've taken it away and we're showing it without, then it would be better to have it upright. 